Hello and welcome to the channel. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when we upload. As you would have just seen, the road planings has just arrived. That was the first load. We've got another load coming, which we're just gonna put there. All the road planings that's come in is going to um, level out all of, all of this dip here. So that is the same as this. This is where we took the concrete out, which you would have seen in the last video. Um, as we're currently doing up this shed here. So at the minute, basically what they're doing is they've put this board in and they've put the expanding foam around the edge so that when they concrete it and make it nice and level, there won't be a gap in there that the concrete will go down. They've done, well from there to just there as you can see, they've still got to go around all the edge. But then they've also got this frame up here um, that's to put the tin on. It will all be green tin like that over there. And that's what it looked like. They put the concrete around the steel as well. Rip this floor out. Uh, Reconcrete it. Do the gutter on this side, and then also on the other side. And then all of all these bays here will be green tin with a roller door here and a personnel door so that you can access the building. The second load that's coming is a bit behind, so whilst we're waiting, we're just gonna level a bit of this this road planing that's already come. this load now. We've got it all in fairly well. All this um, road plane this has been green so it's it's um, nice and fine and there's no big lumps in there. Whilst we're waiting for this second lorry I'm going to fill up a bag of rolled barley then get some molasses and also get some salt because I realised that they were quite low on salt and then we're going to go and take that to the cows after they've unloaded the second lorry which is on its way A few moments later to unload it here because we realised that we're going to have too much and then we'll just have a, uh, a heap of road planings uh, there which is where the builders need to get to replace the gutter so we decided to put it there and then we can now uh, bring it over with the forklift. I'll just go show you quickly. The um, builders brought their roller that we could um, roll all that road planings down but I'll just show you another thing here uh, they put like tissue in the bottom so that when they put the expanding foam in it doesn't expand downwards and then would be 
on the floor. Still got another load to come, but that's gonna come on the on Monday. But that's not um, the same thing. It's road planing, but it hasn't been cleaned. It's got a couple of lumps in it. So that's why we're using this nicer stuff to get a cleaner finish on it. The reason why we got a another load was because it's just so hard to find the road planers at the minute and if we ever needed some, we'll have some uh, spare then. Some time later. Well, they heard the forklift and they've all come running over for their barley. so many um this well we don't have enough feeders to put in the field so we just do it like this but it all in hoops it has heat sorry nine hoops they're growing nicely and there's still a lot of grass out we've been up here two weeks now since we've moved them and yeah there's still, still a lot of grass in there nice and dark green as well just go and take them their salt now. Um, we've done the molasses tub, so we'll do the salt and then we'll head over to the second bunch. Some time later. Okay, so we've just arrived at the other field. We're going to put the molasses in. It wasn't difficult getting out of that field. Luckily, they, they um, found the salt tub and didn't come to us, which was fortunate because that would have been difficult getting out of there. But yeah, this is um, pretty much bone dry in there at the minute. I see the caravan on this side of the field, so they must be the other side. We'll have to go searching for them to give them their barley. There's still quite a bit out here as well, to be honest. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but there's a couple of backs over there. Probably heard the forklift. They know what that noise means. Oh, Jesus, I gotta run like the wind. Yeah, so they've, they don't have much salt either, so next time we'll come, bring some salt for these lot as well. The salt in there, the other tub, should last them quite a while. They do look a lot bigger though, chasing over here now. They've been here, well, on the farm, they've probably been here about a month and a half, probably. And the, uh, when we bought them, we waited another month until we actually got them, so... They're probably around 12 to 13 months now, so they're doing well for their age. When we come to sell them, they'll hopefully be um, 15, maybe 17 months between that. But yeah, they're coming over now. Some at the back being a bit lazy, but the ones at the front know what they're doing. This bunch is a little bit wearier. What? What are you talking about, man? Because um, when we moved them, um, split them up and that, these ones were at the back. So we tried to mix some of the ones that were at the front, but it's, it's quite difficult because uh, they're always trying to push to the back because they're, they're a bit more of the nervous animals. Quietening down the more we come out. So that's, that's good news. As the cows are behind me here, the sun is setting. That'll do. We'll see you in the next video. Um, probably be tarmacking, well, I keep saying tarmacking, it's not tarmacking. We're going to be putting the road planings down. So remember to like and subscribe, go to the Instagram and the TikTok, 
and uh, follow on that as well to see more of an insight of what we do on the farm. But until next time, bye.